Ben Simmons jumping center against Valanchunas. And we are running tonight from Wells Fargo Center. Kyle Anderson. And a good job by Curry to keep it alive. The Sixers, their first possession. Simmons all the way to the cup, and he slams for two. His 30th dunk off the fast break to lead the NBA. Sixers early on look to be the aggressors. Boy, I'll tell you what, active hands. Simmons coming up with a swipe. Green, another three. Yes! Last night's Sixers opponent, Minnesota at home. A couple of nights ago, beat him by 12. Moran, he thought he was going to get a call. He thought he was going to get a call on Tobias Harris. What he got was a bank that he didn't call. Only Clint Capella and Rudy Gobert averaged more rebounds per game than Jonas Valanciunas, who was in deep against Simmons, and he got it done for the record. Second to John ja Moran and score. The more success he has, the more he's going to want to have more of it. He's just a double double waiting to happen. Scott for three, and he drains it. Both guys covering each other. That's the matchup. Harris aggressively on Valanciunas, and he had his way. Tobias Harris, the first shot he has taken. And change ends quickly, stifling those breaks. Simmons bothering Anderson. Allen barely got it off. Valanciunas able to put it back. Valanciunas has played well throughout his career against NB. He has. He's got the skills. He's got a nice soft touch. You see him. Right there, that's the third time he's caught it high, kept it high, and finished high. Harris has Kyle Anderson, and he has his way. How good has Tobias Harris been this year posting up? It's one of his coaches in high school and helped him to develop Ooh. point guard skills. Here at 6'9", comes up with a steal. Harris in his rear view, but Kyle Anderson having his way. We're on the seesaw right now with the Sixers down one. Simmons, wow, a burst to the hoop. And Ben slamming for two. Can get it, let the emotions get the better of him at times. And man, that would be man. Mr. Brooks setting up Valanchunas. The Anthony Melton. One of a handful of good three-point shooters for the Grizzlies. Beautiful set up by Tobias Harris. And Melton ready to shoot. Both teams now at the team foul limit. Under a minute to play in the first. Milton finally connects after missing his first two. Out on the floor and both guys covering each other. I got it. I got it. I know, you, I know you're with me. Ah, B-ball Paul slamming for two. Compliments of Furkan Korkmaz. Xavier Tillman averaging six, four boards. Playing about 19 minutes per game. And here is Bain with a miss. Melton, a burst to the hoop. He's looking for the and one. Doesn't get it. See, I don't have a problem with that because that looks fancy, but it's actually the right thing to do. Mm. Rather healthy three there from Melton. The referee allows it to play on, but when that's when things have changed, impeded, gets called. Got a nose for the game, but not going to overwhelm you with his athleticism. Curry with a hot potato, got it off and in. Boy, the Sixers needed that. Their offense was stalled. Sixers shooting just 37%, 3 of 11 from beyond. Mike Scott, got it. Ben, give and go, it's a green three. Harris, again, got it. Tobias Harris turning garbage into gold. Green, face to face with Valanchunas. Here come the Grizzlies scoreless. Their last eight trips down the floor before Grayson Allen is able to hit the three. It's the Sixers mark that are getting out in transition. We had feared about the prowess of the Grizzlies in transition. Oh, somehow, someway, Brooks breaking free and slamming for two off the inbounds. And Valanchunas, who was hurting earlier, has kind of gone quiet. Tobias Harris having his way on Grayson Allen. He did this one earlier. Short but net, right? Nothing yeah. but net. Brooks for three. Oh, and he was fouled as well. Important to get a stop and a couple buckets here. Feel good about yourself as you head in the locker room. There you go. That time, Tobias Harris making the Grizzlies pay for their double team. Be a pivot foot. Which one? You pick. 
Mm. Balanchunas, yet another offensive rebound. And Simmons out there with three personal fouls. Good Back look. door open indeed. Well done. This was covering him in the latter part of the first half. Grizzlies come up with a turnover. Sixers go rushing back. Allen, rather healthy three, and he delivers Grayson Allen by Brooks of Simmons, who's trying to get it back from Moran. Grizzlies right now their largest lead. Allen dropping another three. And a quick timeout, Doc Rivers. Well, it was a timely timeout called by Doc Rivers. Hopefully the 76ers can take advantage of it. There you go. Indeed, Simmons and Harris connecting against. Cutting, good movement off the ball. Simmons stripped again by Anderson. And again, he's trying to catch up to Morant. Allen, another three, man. Grayson Allen. Allen's come a long way with that three, become more reliable. And you can see the quick release by Allen as well as Tobias answers back with a post up. John ja Morant thinking about a three. Sixers would welcome that. Green flirting with a double of Allen Chunas, who has his way anyway. Give the Grizzlies some credit. Their energy, their hard work, posing problems. All hands on deck for the Sixers. Morant giving it up for an Anderson three. Valanchunas with Howard wandering around the perimeter is free to do his thing. Another offensive rebound, overall rebounding, but offensive boards per game. Which Grizzly. is the hardest. Yeah. Which is the absolute hardest. We've seen him time and time again when the offense is stagnant, rescuing it, salvaging something. Clark. You know you didn't prepare for it out of that timeout, so when you come out of the timeout and see something different, it throws you for a sec. John Morant, of all people, the wow. offensive for rebound, the slam and the foul for Brandon Clark. Six or seven of 28 from beyond the arc. Well, they haven't gotten a lot of open looks lately, as Bain shows you what an open looks, look looks like. The Sixers, a very difficult situation to say the least. Well, Jones, you can see Shake knock down that layup. Both members of that 2015 national championship team. Jones, the MOP of that tournament. Blasphemy if you're a defensive minded coach or someone who aspires to be. Milton. Then they win yesterday. It's back to back home games. Then boom, back on the road again for four more, including. The Boston Celtics to open the trip. That'll be on Tuesday as Brandon Clark connects. Not home for that long. Good play by Allen to block the shot of Howard. Racing down the other end is Bain. You could count it and a foul. Tough power, player. Power forward. Kurt Thomas? Bang. Yeah. There you go. Kurt Thomas could shoot it yep. a little. Yeah. I knew you'd have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a three-point shooter. Oh, no. Howard keeping it alive and putting it back. Isaiah Cho, we know he could shoot a little bit. Good setup of B Ball Paul. The G League, originally a second round pick. Ignis Brasdakis. Tucker, who is always looking to drive, denied on the play by Tillman, who is in there. Final. Two Single elimination. Two ah, nicely guys. done by Paul. Reed. And he gave it back to Mason Jones, who laid it in. That's Reed unleashing Mason all the way in. Well done. It's a lot of about says something about the pride of this second unit. Sixers overall. It will be a 16-point victory for Memphis as they win it by a final of 116 to 100. Taylor.